During the COVID-19 pandemic, we had these cases, so many cases, yeah. and actually looking at the statistics, before COVID and uh, after COVID, these cases increased after COVID, but now we are post-COVID. Where are we as a country? I would say authoritatively as a country that uh, GBV cases have gone down post-COVID. Now, having gone down, mm -hmm is because, first of all, of what government has done, the commitments. There was a commitment that we made, and uh, let me take uh, uh, Kenyans to an historical perspective, because this is something that has not just happened to today. Mm -hmm. In 1995, the Beijing Platform of Action, the country came up, like other parts of the world, to say that we need policy and uh, legislation measures for GBV and FGM. And our country went forward. I think we know all the laws that are there today on this matter, mm. on gender-based violence. And uh, if we were just to say just but a few of them, I know there is the Sexual Offences Act mm -hmm. of 2006. Mm -hmm. We have the national policy for the eradication of FGM, mm -hmm. and this is for 2019. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's referred to a session on paper number mm -hmm. three of 2019. We have the protection against domestic violence act of 2015 criminal criminalizing a uh, beating of our spouses uh, so that is now a criminal offense then we have the prohibition of female genital mutilation act it is a common one known of 2011 so kenya went full blast and got the policies and the legislation mm -hmm. now during icpd uh, 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 plus 25. The Nairobi Summit, that is what we call it, that is an international conference on population and uh, development. Kenya committed and said we are going to end FGM by 2022 and we end uh, GBV by 2030. In fact, it was His Excellency the President then who came up with this. Mm -hmm. Now, what has happened? This is post 2022. Has something gone wrong? I know people are asking that. And we are saying nothing has gone wrong. We know the famous Samburu mm. uh, elders condemning uh, this practice, GBV mm. and FGM. Mm -hmm. We know what happened in Narok. Mm -hmm. There has been a lot of activity. And we know there is a whole body in government that is dealing with gender-based, not gender-based violence, FGM. And FGM is just part of uh, gender-based violence. Mm -hmm. And therefore, the government has been working very hard. And when it came to generation equality that uh, Albert has talked about, we committed to end GBV by 2026. Mm -hmm. And we even gave ourselves a roadmap and said, first of all, we are going to implement fully the policies and the laws. Are we doing that in 2023? Yes. The policies are in force, the laws are in force. 